this is uh, Muhammad Jamaluddin. Uh, I'm actually a science teacher. Basically, I teach physics uh, in Chotaram Cantonment Public College. My institution uh, is run by Bangladesh Army. And this is the actually a combined co-education. We have in co-education and uh, we have primary section, secondary section. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What about you? I'm fine. Thank you. So this is Durga Sai. I'm glad to interact with you. Can I ask you a question, sir? Oh, sure. Of course. How do you optimize resources accessible to you for effective teaching? Uh, thank you. You're good. Thanks for your good questions. Uh, and uh, actually, I teach physics in my class, uh, grade 9 and 10, and science in grade 8. So basically, I use uh, the some multi uh, media content and practical also because you know science is actually practical oriented subject that's why uh, we have some topics which we uh, just complete in our lab and the students can perform uh, uh, um, their uh, studies or their research in our lab uh, in physics lab we have actually different types of labs physics lab chemistry lab biology lab and ict lab so as I am the physics teacher, I teach them physics and they can do anything. Uh, if they have need the experimental learning, then they can come to my lab and they can perform uh, different types of activities and research activities. Okay, Sindhu. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. My How are you, Sindhu? Sindhu? I'm fine, sir. What about you? I'm fine. Thank you. Would you please uh, share your rich experience and your rich experience as a Fulbright teacher. Okay, as a Fulbright teacher, I have uh, my, I have experience, and you can see this is already uh, explained. Uh, in this program, we have uh four actually uh. Uh, what targets, uh, suppose action research, short-term goals, long-term goal, teacher leadership. Uh, actually, these are the general pedagogy program. We have learned about the student learning or student achievement, the skillful teachers. There are seven knowledge based for high expertise teaching. And uh, these are the seven points. How can I be the skillful teacher or uh, what uh, characteristics should I gain for the uh, become a skillful teacher? And there are 10 topics, uh, 10 jobs of teaching that, uh, um, and what we should do as a teacher uh, for professional knowledge and skill. Uh, there are 10 topics here. This said. My short term goal uh, at that program was find the suitable education tools basically uh, online tools or the technological tools, learn details about those tools, practice about these, prepare my content and finalize the teaching method. This was my short-term goal. And I just uh, completed my short-term goal by these deadlines. And uh, when I was at the University of Nevada, you know. So, uh, and these are the skills uh, in teaching methods. We need asking questions that have more than one right answer. Student problem solving, co-teaching, differentiation, total physical response. These are the actually some skills for become a, a teacher, I think. Now I want to show you the US uh, classroom activities. This is the science club which is uh, just running now. Uh, can you see the video? Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, yes. OK, this one is the classroom of uh, United States. Uh, and uh, the name of the school is Marsahaj Middle School. 
uh, where I was uh, there for two weeks. And we can see that actually they have the experimental testing in the classroom so that this one is actually laboratory type. And this one is the robotics class. Robotic, uh, they have, uh, for, from grade six, seven, eight, they have robotics in their syllabus. So uh, there is another robotics class uh, which I have visited. And the students can make the robots by using uh, different types of uh, components and they can make uh, some uh, robots uh, by this class. So this one is the environment of the robotic class of United States. Okay. And uh, after that, we can see uh, that this one, my classroom, and I teach them. They are the sixth grade students. They are sixth grade students in last year. So now they are seventh grade students. And here is the teacher, uh, ja uh, Julie uh, Fun. And uh, she is the mathematics teacher and science teacher of that school. And this is the uh, classroom activities where I shared my national flag to uh, the students of United States. And this one is the classroom where my uh, uh, one of my presentation, my school video is uh, just I showed at that place. And this one also the activities and classroom activities uh, with the students. Hello, sir. My name is Monica. Nice How are you, sir? You, Monica. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm also fine, sir. Sir, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Please. What kind Let's of see. technology do you use in your classroom? Okay. Projector for my class. Suppose this one is the content of physics, 9th and 10th class, and our class duration is 40 minutes. So we just start uh, my, I just start my class with uh, some fun pictures and when they can answer, then I can explain my uh, lessons and I explain them about the learning outcomes of the lessons. Suppose this is, uh, this topic is what is density, Archimedes law or uh, Pascal's law. So uh, I just teach them with the help of multimedia uh, projector. So this one is the content which I use uh, in my classroom. Okay, this is the, uh, there is the video, this is the last class. I just want to skip this one. And after my lecture, I give them uh, some work in pairs. Student will work in pairs to write uh, real life applications of Archimedes formula. They can just give the ex, uh, examples or experiments which uh, they have done in their home. They can share with each other. Suppose Archimedes, to explain Archimedes principle, they can take some uh, objects inside the water and they can feel that the objects can lose some weight and this apparent weight will be equal to the weight of the displaced liquid. Uh, by this way, they can uh, experiment uh, this one. And after that, I give them the single task. The student will draw a diagram of an application of Archimedes principle. Uh, as they can, uh, they can uh, just draw the one. So this one is one of my content. How can I take the class? And after uh, at the end of the class, I just uh, give them the homework. Suppose this one is the homework state and explain Archimedes formula or Archimedes principle. So this one is one of my class content. By this way, I just contact my class. 
some network issues so i can ask you the question and behalf of her how different yes, you are sure. how different you are from other teachers in your region especially in the area of physical science actually i am not different actually i am uh, uh, yes i can make my class enjoyable to the students as it physics everybody knows that every uh, think that physics is very hard subject but i'm trying to make my lesson very easier uh, to them uh, so uh, that's why i think uh, my students uh, can like my class because i give some practical examples when i teach them any topics i can give them some practical suppose now i am uh, talking with you and you can see me but how can you see me due to the reflection of light when this light falls on my face and due to the reflection of my uh, from my face you can see me so this is when i teach reflection of light i can give them this example now yeah. i can just i am just holding my pen and i can write so there is the friction so if there is no friction then it is not possible for me to write with this pen so when i uh, discuss about the frictional force or what is friction then i can give this example suppose i am just sitting on the chair but if there is no frictional force it is not possible to me to stay on the chair i just forgot uh, 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 without uh, frictional force it is not possible so like this uh, in physics i i actually try my best to uh, make the easy in the, uh, the difficult or uh, uh, which is difficult to the students i can give some experiment or example or real life examples to the students by this way i just try to make the lesson very easy to the students i don't know how a uh, teacher i am i am not a very good teacher but i try my best to deliver my uh, best practice in the future. Yes, the effective teachers only can make the students uh, understand the core topic. As I know that uh, physical science is absolutely an abstract subject. It is very, very difficult to inject into the young minds. But right, by, right. Giving, by giving the, the examples that you have uh, just explained definitely the students show a lot of interest towards the physical science it all matters the yeah. teacher it all matters yeah. the teacher and whether it is english teacher or physical science teacher or biological science teacher the whole thing lies in the teacher itself so it um, he can make the difference that's it so sign agas give over to you thank you sir yes, sir hello sir i am sign agas i am an eighth grader Sir, I will pose a question. Can I? Ah, uh, sure. You can ask me a question. How important is to upgrade the professional skills as a science teacher? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for your question. For development, I, I, I can. Uh, actually, I am a long life learner. Ah, uh, as a learner, there is no age limit. my age is just now near 50 but still now i am learning something from different sources suppose online from uh, edx or coursera or we have a portal educational portal that is called the shikshak batayan uh, teachers portal or mukta path these are the some portals where we can take uh, online training for, uh, Uh, on the different types of issues or different types of uh, topics so still now i am just uh, uh, learning about educational tools technological tools educational pedagogy how can i uh, make interest in my classroom or how can i increase the um, tendency to learning to the students uh, still now i am learning from the online so uh, by learning this i can execute in my classroom yeah so I as you know that to our in this uh, era of the smartphone the smartphone actually wants it to upgrade it from time to time 
So living in the smartphone era, I think it is essential for the every teacher to upgrade his or her professional skills only to sustain in this competitive world. And that too, we are manufacturing the future generation. So when you are in the profession of manufacturer of a future generation, we need to upgrade our skills first. Then we can right. be, become a grown model to the, our students. Otherwise, I right. think right. We, if we are not updated, so we are uh, out of the this competitive world. Yes. Actually, you are you are excellent. Any any question from anyone? So it looks like uh, Nandini. Do you have any question? Yes, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello, sir. This is Nandini, an eighth grader. Here, my question is: What is your great strength as a teacher? Thank you, Nandini, for your good questions. My strength is you. My strength are you. All of the students. Okay. When I make my lesson easier or uh, enjoyable to the students, that is my strength. I can get the strength from my students' behavior, from my students' feedback. And if I see that I can give them proper education or I can teach them in proper way, they can understand about my topics, then that is my strength to increase my uh, class level for the next day. So my strength are actually my students. Okay, that's that. Nia, how are you? I am fine, sir. What about you? I am fine. Thank you. My name is Usniya. Can I ask you a question, sir? Sure. How is science taught in your classroom? Uh, I repeat, please. Sorry. How is science taught in your classroom? Science. Okay. So as the, I taught physics, uh, like science also, I have a content on my uh, syllabus or chapter, different types of chapters. I use digital content in my classroom. And uh, you'll be happy to know that in my school, uh, from plus eight, grade eight, nine, ten, all classes are um, accommodated by the multimedia projector. In our every classroom, there is the multimedia projector. So most of the teachers can use the multimedia projector. I also use this multimedia projector. In science class, uh, besides the multimedia projector, I took them in the laboratory and my physics laboratory or chemistry laboratory uh, to uh, explain uh, experimental education to them. And when you can also uh, just understand that if you do something by yourself, it will be, it has very um, impact uh, in your mind, uh, then you memorize anything. If you memorize, you can learn, but if you can do that one in practical, you can learn more things, you can understand about the core um, um, topics or core um, uh, 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 things from uh, that lesson. So it will be, uh, I just uh, try to take them a laboratory to teach them with the help of multimeter projector to teach them experimental experience, experiences. Uh, by this way, just take my class science and physics also. Okay. And Thank actually you. science is practical oriented subject. Yes. So that's why uh, in most of the time we use the practical lab or uh, we take them in different places. Yes. So, guys, uh, one of the last students, I think, is going to ask the last question. Roshni, go ahead. Hello, sir. My name is Roshni. I'm studying 8th grade at GPH Sailavaram. Can I ask you a question, sir? Uh, nice to meet you, Roshni. Yes, you can ask me a question. What is your goal as a science teacher? To make you scientist. My goal is to make my nations, future nations, or the students uh, as a scientist or a doctor or good human being. My one goal is to uh, make a good human being, not only scientist, not only doctor, not only um, educator, not only engineer. If a person become a good person, good human, 
then that is my achievement. So my goal is to build up the good human or good nation in the future. So in my every class, uh, form in my form meeting, I advise my students as to how to be a good human being. Uh, how can we increase our morality? How can we maintain our discipline? How can we uh, continue our ethics, etc. So if you will be a good human being, then you can serve your people, you can serve your society, you can serve your country. That's, that is my goal.